What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll show you how to download and install custom worlds for Minecraft, whatever version you're on. Of course, I'll be using 1.18.2, but it doesn't really matter. The method and the steps are exactly the same, as well as whatever website you choose to use. There's tens of thousands of map download websites, so I'll start with pretty much the first one that I find on Google. I'll search for download Minecraft 1.18.2 world and the first link is MCPEDL. Nope, I wouldn't be using MCPE. Let's go to the next one, Minecraft 1.18.2 maps. Awesome. Let's go ahead and download, say, the Burj Khalifa. Essentially, you're looking for a download that'll take you across to a zip or some kind of compressed file. And there we have it, a 113 megabyte world in a zip format. I'll click on this to open it up. And there we have it, a couple of files inside of this zip folder here. Actual world copy, here we go. You're looking for a folder that contains dim, dim one, region, etc. files that look something like this. This is the world save file and this is what we're looking for. Essentially, we need to take all of these and place them into our Minecraft folder in order to load it up in the game itself. Of course, Minecraft worlds will work between versions, different mod packs, etc. So you don't really need to worry about compatibilities. Obviously, if things are completely incompatible from a future version, you won't be able to load them up in previous versions, usually. But older Minecraft worlds, you can usually load up in future versions without too much issue. Anyways, there we go. So I only have two worlds here. None of them are the world that I just downloaded. How do I import it to Minecraft? Well, hold start, press R to bring up the run dialog, and inside of here, type in percentage app data percentage backslash, and we'll type in dot Minecraft or simply click dot Minecraft to open up the correct folder straight away. There we go. App data roaming dot Minecraft. Essentially, we're looking for the saves folder over here. At least that's what it's called currently. And you'll see folders in here with the same names as the worlds inside of your single player list here. Obviously deleting worlds, etc. We'll delete them from here as well. What we want to do is make a brand new folder. You can call it whatever you want. I'll call it building and I'll open up the folder inside of our Minecraft saves folder. Then I'll simply select all of the world files individually as such using control A and drag them into the new folder that we just created in our saves folder. This way, we've now successfully downloaded, extracted, and imported our world. So I can minimize that, head back to Minecraft, back to the main menu, and back into single player. And then we have it. There's world over here. Obviously, whatever name it is will depend on the world that we downloaded, but simply loading into it, you can see we're dropped down here, right next to this huge building in this save game. Of course, in the distance are some weird chunks loading in. Things have been hollowed out for this item to be placed here but it really doesn't look too bad. Obviously, whatever you choose to download is what you'll be loading into, whether it's a dropper, a parkour map, etc., etc. You'll be dropped into wherever the map developer set the spawn. And of course, you can play whatever you're trying to play as per usual. You've now successfully imported a Minecraft world. It's really simple, really easy to do. And of course, if you'd like to share it with friends, simply do exactly what those world creators did, open up your saves folder, find the world that you'd like to share with people, zip it up and send it out to wherever, over Discord, Mediafire or wherever you decide to share it, etc, etc. Anyways, that's really about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching, my name's been Techno, but here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!